This project is called the Glitter Capitals Refrigerator Magnets. For this project you will need to have a glue gun, a high temperature glue gun, some cards, white cardstock, a capital letters font. This font is from my Pamela's Preschool website. You can purchase this with some other variations of font letters if you'd like. You need scissors, magnetic strips, a small brush, white glue, any color of glitter, and a cookie sheet. When you have your letter cut out, this is what you do before your children come to their preschool class. Go ahead and get a magnetic strip. You can buy these at department stores. They just break off. Decide how much magnet you would like to have on the back of this letter. I'm going to use three pieces. So, and it will be like this. Now this part is the adhesive side, but the adhesive on these magnets is not very strong. So I like to use a glue gun and make sure that they stick very well. This is the part that the adults need to do. I just zigzag a little pattern right there. Stick it on. Hopefully you don't burn yourself. If glue gets on you, you just pull it off as fast as you can. I do this art project in connection with talking about everyone's names and how unique they are and special. And when the children take these home, then they can look at their name every day on the refrigerator and it looks really pretty. So my letter K is now ready. The glue dries really fast and it's ready for the children to go ahead and put glitter on it. I'll put it on my sheet. I'll turn it around this way so you can see it. And we'll use some white glue. I demonstrate this for them so that they can see about how much glue to put on. This white glue will warp the paper a little bit. That's not too much of a problem. The magnets are holding this in place so I don't have to worry about it scooting around. And then I have them paint the glue. Just go to the edges. Make sure they get all the bumps out so it's nice and flat. And then I put it over here out of the way. This is pink glitter. And just make sure that we get a really good coverage all over that. To make sure that happens, I go ahead and kind of wiggle it around a little bit. Because I use glitter a lot, I like to save the glitter that I have not used. And if that's the case for you, do you have got your capital letter all covered up? You can use pour back in here, take off the lid, and just get all the glitter to the edge. Oops, spilled a little, but that's good. And just dump it in. Now when this is dry, the children will take it home and stick it on the refrigerator. When the sun hits that, it is like a thousand mirrors sparkling across the wall. Let me show you some that are already done. These capital letters were previously done with different glitters so you can see the different effects that you can get.